Hello everyone! Today, we are going to cook a very pretty fish, I would say. I'm not sure whether I have uh, tasted this fish before, but I heard that it's very tasty. So I'm looking forward to cook it and let's go and find out what fish is it. The fish that we are going to cook today is a yellow striped goat fish. I think they got the name yellow stripe because if you can see carefully here there are yellow stripes on the body. This fish belongs to the goat fish family because there are two goat like bubbles underneath the the uh, mouth. You can see clearly. The scales are very big and overall the fish looks very pretty. It's like a pinkish red in colour. What I gather uh, about this fish is that uh, it's available in the sea of Japan, Taiwan and all the way down to Australia. Something interesting about this fish is that uh, it could be mistaken as a red mullet which when I did my research, red mullet seems to be only available in the Mediterranean Sea, but they are looking very, very similar. So let's descale gut and prepare the fish for today's cooking. Let's descale the fish. You can see that the scales is very big, very interesting. First, I would like to remove all the fins. Next, I will take off the head. Remove the gut. We shall clean this fish up first. Pat dry the fish so that it's easier to handle the fish while filleting. Now we will fillet the fish. I'm going to use only the fillets for today's cooking. The rest of the body, I have to chop it up. I have split the head into two and remove the collars. This, I will use it for um, another days of uh, cooking. So let's prepare the fillet for today's dish first. The bones were pretty big and a little bit more difficult to take it up 
but I have to make sure that uh, I have totally removed the bones. So what I'm going to do now, uh, because it's quite big, so I'm going to cut into two. I'm going to season with some salt. We're going to let this uh, fish rest in the fridge for a while um, and then uh, we can uh, prepare the sauce for today's dish. Now I would like to make the sauce. I'm going to put in chopped garlic, two cloves. Then I put in one large chili, well chopped up. And if you like a little bit more spicy, you can use maybe one chili paddy to add on to it. Then I add in parsley. This is about five stock of parsley. Chop up as well. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. Then uh, one tablespoon of white vinegar. And then I have uh, freshly squeezed lemon, lemon juice or lime juice from half of it. I will add the sugar. I'm using palm sugar. Um, the one that commonly used for Thai food. You, if you do not have this, you can use a regular sugar and this is uh, one teaspoon. And you can mix this all up. So this sauce is very Thai. I love Thai, Thai food. You know, the spiciness, the uh, saltiness, the sweetness, and uh, the aroma is just fantastic. I have tasted this sauce and I'm very happy with this so I will leave this sauce in the uh, fridge I'm gonna use olive oil for today's cooking okay, now we will place the fish onto the pan skin side down first Really love the reddish color of the goldfish. All right, our fish has been uh, pan fried for about two minutes. Um, I think it's time for me to dish them out and then drizzle the sauce over and enjoy our dish today. I am very excited to try this uh, goldfish. Uh, okay, it goes oh, very tender, very, very tender. Mm. Wow, the uh, texture is very nice and taste is very, very good. I love it. This adds on to another um, favorite fish of mine, and um, this particular Thai style kind of like sauce is very appetizing and it goes very well with this fish excellent wow amazing this is definitely one of the top 10 fish that i have tried and i'm very very surprised by the taste and the texture wow this is got to be one of my top 10 best eating fish and probably for year 2021 i think it lines up in the top three yellow striped goat fish is fantastic and um, I do not know what other ways what other ways to cook it, but I just thought, sort of like done my research and most of them pan fried and, and alone itself is like fantastic. And and that sauce that um, I have made is very Thai. It's like spicy, sweet, a little bit of sour, and it complements uh, the whole dish very well. So I hope if you see this fish, do buy it and give it a try. And I hope to see you soon.